Hello again, welcome back. One from Windswept, and it's the chocolate stem. I think. I better check that. It is. It is. Oh. It's called Witch Fricker. It's a dark chocolate stout. Comes in at 4.2% ABV. This dark chocolate stout gives a rich, bitter hit of dark chocolate, balanced with smooth vanilla and sweet malt flavors. Enjoy with dark chocolate cake or just in its own. It's bottle conditioned, contains live yeast. Anything else? Best before 16th of June 2023. 330ml bottle. I have had this before. And I actually recorded a video when the beer was too warm. It was a very active, over-carbonated. I think that may have been probably the way I stored it. It wasn't cold enough. Anyway, I've had this in my beer fridge at 2 Celsius. So it's just, it is very cold. Stout shouldn't be served that cold. It should be served at stellar temperature, 12. The, the classic crown with a logo on it. Let's see how it pours. That is so much better for than the last time that you had this. It was like a half inch of beer in the bottom and the rest was full. So the, the only thing is it's very cold. So let's have a wee look. It's a, just a, a thin film uh, of mousse like foam on the surface. It's totally opaque. Is there some light coming through it? There's a tiny wee bit of light coming through the bottom there. It's just a very, very deep brown. Let's see. I'll put it up to the highest setting. Just to see if it shows that, yeah, it does. It's absolutely beautiful colour, like a chest, deep chestnut, very slightest tinge of ruby red. But to all intents and purposes, it's it's black, very deep brown. There's no any visual carbonation, none I can see. Let's get a wee nose on it, eh? Oh, that's livened it up a bit. I'm still getting those smells, even though it's cold. Let's see what the temperature is. What it thinks it is, the foam. It thinks it's 5.9. It thinks that bottom bit where I've been holding is 10. <laughs> I don't think this works. So... You know what it smells like? A, a dark chocolate fruit nut bar. <laughs> it's fruity, like dark plums or raisins or prunes or something like that. And chocolatey. And I think there's coffee there as well. It smells really boozy for only 4.2%. Anyway, cheers, my dears. It is still cold, but all the flavours are coming through. That carbonation is much more subdued now. But before it was fizzy in the mouth, effervescent. That's just right now. It's very smooth. It's intense coffee, chocolate, fruity, like prunes or. Is there a wee bit of the treacle toffee there as well? 
I think it's called burnt toffee something treacle to it. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It's it's light to medium body. It's easy drinking. It's smooth. There's a bit of bitterness at the back there. I'm not going to say what the IBUs are. 30. No. What? I can edit that. 50. No, 60. 70. 20. 10. What I'll do is I'll edit it and put my correct guess in. Let's have a look on their website to see if we can get any more information. Okay. This is from windswetbrewing.com. It's the beer is called Witch Pricker. It's a dark chocolate stout, 4.2% ABV, alcohol by volume. This is a dark and sophisticated chocolate stout. The combination of different malted grains blended with raw cocoa nibs and cane sugar gives a fantastic rich bitter hit of dark chocolate with a smooth sweetness of malt flavours. Original gravity 1.053, the ivy use 30. Was that my first guess? I think it was, you know. Ingredients, hops, admiral, fuggles and East Kent Goldings. Malts, pale malt, crystal malt, brown malt, chocolate malt, roasted malt, and oats. Other ingredients, raw cacao nibs and cane sugar. Enjoy with beef or veggie chilli, dark chocolate cake. Enjoy after ice cream. Did you know? The gruesome and horrific practice of witch pricking was common in the 17th century. The witch pricker would test accused witches with a needle to see if they had the devil's mark, a spot that didn't bleed. Here in Moray, the poor victims found guilty were then stripped and put in stout barrels, or stout barrels, barrels that are stout, covered in spikes and rolled down Clooney Hill in forests in their death. Historical records tell of the story of a woman called Christian Cadell, who disguised as a man presented herself for duty as a witch pricker in Mori. She sent as many as ten innocent people to their death by pro proclaiming they were in contact with the devil. Eventually her cover was blown and she was arrested, sent to Barbados and never heard of again. So, we I drink this beer again. Yes. Would I recommend it? Highly. What am I going to score it? 9 out of 10. It's an absolute belt. Chocolate stout, one of the best I've had. If you can find it, try it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Cheers, my dears. That's sublime.